Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be upgrading the memory in a 2009 Mac Mini. Make sure to watch the video all the way through before attempting this upgrade. As you will see, getting into the Mini is a very difficult procedure and professional installation is recommended. See the end of this video for more information. We have shut down and unplugged the Mini and placed it on a soft, static-free cloth to prevent scratching the surface. To get inside, we will need to flip the Mini over. To loosen the clips holding the top cover on, you will need a small putty knife which can be found in most hardware stores. Carefully insert the blade of the putty knife between the inner and outer case. Gently but firmly pry out with the knife. This will cause it to detach the inner clips from the case. You will hear a series of pops as the clips come free. Carefully work your way around the mini's edges. Once you get to the rear of the Mini, the case should be separated enough that you can simply lift the cover up and off. Inside, there are three antennas that need to be removed. The two narrow antennas on the left simply pull up and out. There is a spring under each that you should remove as well so they don't get lost. The frontmost antenna's wire is held down with tape, which you'll need to remove. The large antenna on the right has a small clip underneath, which you will need to squeeze to release. You'll want to remove this spring as well. There are four screws you will need to remove to detach the drive assembly from the base. The front left screw is located here. The rear left screw is located here. The right rear screw can be found here. The right front screw is larger than the others and can be found here. Once you have removed the screws, detach the ribbon cable that connects the two halves. Once that has been detached, you can gently lift the drive assembly up and away from the base. It may take a little maneuvering to get the assembly clear. You will see the memory slots located near the front left of the Mini. In many cases, there will be only one module installed, such as in this example. In other cases, there may be two. To remove a memory module, gently push out on the two retaining arms until the module pops up, then simply pull the module out. Each memory module has a notch on it that lines up with a tab inside the memory slot. To install the module, line the notch up with the tab in the lower slot and push the memory into the slot at an angle. Once it is inserted fully, push down on the edge of the module to seat it. Repeat the process with the second module. Replace the drive assembly, making sure not to pinch any of the antenna wires. You may need to adjust the positioning a little bit until the assembly fits into place. Next, reattach the drive ribbon cable. It is now time to replace the four corner screws. The large screw goes in the right front position. The three remaining screws are all the same size and go in the three remaining corners. Place the springs on the antenna posts
Then, attach the antennas themselves by pushing them into place. For the large antenna on the right, you may need to squeeze the clip you used to remove it in order to replace it. Once that's done, you may now replace the top cover. Push down evenly around all edges until it clips flush back into place.